Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the fact that it's nearing our peak logarithmic regression band. This is another model that we use on the channel, and we're gonna see how well these things hold up now that we are approaching it. The current price of Bitcoin, while it shows 51,615 here, this just shows the daily closes, we know that right now it's at 56,104. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the, te the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. So we need to really dig into this model to understand how it's useful and some of the uncertainties associated with it. As I've always said, the green band is instrumental in helping us figure out the accumulation phase. Okay, and I, I feel like we can look back at this and say, you know what? This was one hell of an accumulation phase, and our regression band helped identify that. Now, the lower regression band is fit to one to 2,000 data points. And so I trust it a lot more. It's fit to quote unquote non bubble data. You may not know what non bubble data means, but essentially what I'm doing is, is for this indicator, not all of them, I have some that, that don't exclude it, but for this one, I don't, I don't include these what I've deemed to be bubble data, okay? I just look at, at what I've considered to be in a mathematical, a somewhat rigorous mathematical form, what I've considered to be non-bubble data, and that's what the lower regression band is fit to. And I do think it's instrumental in helping identify the accumulation phase. The general idea it, that, that I've, I've showed before on prior videos is if you fit it to the last bear market and then the bottom or what you think the bottom is of the current bear market whenever you're there, it tends to project out that accumulation phase, okay? So imagine now we've, we, we have all of this data, if you only fit it to this point over here around like plus or minus one month around the, around the, uh, the bottom, it does a really good job of projecting out the next bear market or the next accumulation phase, I should say. And in the same manner, we, 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 we had all of this, right? and we fit it to basically this point right here and let it ride. And it so far has done a really good job of helping identify this accumulation phase, okay? Now that we've exited this band here, we will, the only time I will ever refit this curve is once we come back down to whatever our future bottom will be. Obviously it's hard to know exactly what it is, but one way that you can do it, you can try to get an idea, historically speaking, as many of you guys know, the 200 week moving average tends to be a, a fairly decent uh, spot to assume that we might be having a bottom. The 200 week moving average is where we bottomed right here. And we rode the 200 week moving average for a while. And we also bottomed here and here with a wick to the 300 week. So the only time I will refit the bottom curve will likely be whenever we go back to the 200 week moving average, however many months or years that is in the future. And by the time we get to the 200 week moving average, currently it's at 9,262. By the time we ever get to it, it could be the current price of Bitcoin for all we know, okay? It's going to take a long time for us to ever get back to that level. You can see last cycle, we, you know, the 200 week moving average rode sideways or slightly up and then it started to, to really pick up steam and then level off again. It's starting that move where it's it's starting to pick up steam. But remember, it's a lagging indicator. Okay, it's a lagging indicator. Now, the peak regression band has some more uncertainty than the, than the fair value regression band. And both of these are fit to the equation y equals 10 raised to the power a ln of x minus b. a and b are fitted coefficients. x is the number of days. So in this situation, it's only been fit to three data points. And I, I picked the three peaks. Okay, so we took this peak, this peak, and this peak and applied a, a tolerance on on those on the on that curve fit. Okay, and when you do that, this is what you get, right? This is what you get. You get a nice curve that goes through more or less the peaks here with a wick up to the up close to it. Here we came just above it. In fact, if you zoom in, we had a wick above the regression band. And then here we also had a wick slightly above the regression band. The reason why this is important 
we're approaching it. Okay, now, first of all, if these types of models make you mad, then again, you can, you can push the vein in your forehead back in because I'm not saying that it necessarily predicts the top. What I'm saying is it's a simple, it's a simple mathematical exercise to fit this curve, three data points to the prior peaks for this equation. That's all it is, nothing more, nothing less. We will have to see how well its predictive power is during this market cycle. Now, it currently ranges, the, the regression band for the theoretical top, according to this model, ranges, right now, it ranges from 50, 57665 up to $85,000. So, if the price next week, or, or sorry, in the next two days, or a day or two were to go above $85,000, then we would be going above the regression band. It is possible to go above the regression band. Okay, we're not, we're not going to claim it's not. This is simply one more model that we can use, just like we did a video on another model. We have so many models that we use to try to get a sense of where are we in this, in this you know, euphoria? Where are we in this cycle? This is one more model that we can use and we are approaching it, we're not in it yet. Again, to, to get into the regression band, it, we need to get to at least uh, around 57.7K. If we make it to 57.7, which we're really only a couple thousand dollars away from right now, we're at 55.7. So if we were to go to 57.7 in the next day, then we would make it there. You might say, well, why the next day? Well, it actually does increase by maybe 30 to $40 per day or so. So it's going up every single day, and the longer it takes us, the higher it will, the, the band will go. You can see it as a monotonically increasing function and it will continue to go up. Now, this doesn't mean in any way that it can't do something like this, right? Where it comes in it, maybe we do get a correction, but ultimately maybe it comes above it for a while and then comes back down or something like that. Does that, what does that mean? Well, what that would mean if, if something like this were to happen, then all we would do is we would then take this data point, this data point, this data point, and this data point, and we would refit it and try to get an even better model because then we have four data points as to only as opposed to only three. So every cycle, every time we have these mania phases where everyone and their mom is buying Bitcoin, it will allow us to have more data points that we can ultimately fit to. So we are approaching it. We're still not in it yet. And remember that it does currently extend all the way up to $85,000, over $85,000 in fact. And the last two times we came into the band, we actually went to the top of it here. And here we actually went slightly above it by about 5% or so. So we'll see how well this model holds up. We'll see if it stands the test of time, but it's one more indicator that we can use to try to navigate these crazy markets. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, you can check out the premium list. We're having a sale, check it out in the description below. You'll get access to these indicators as well. Another indicator that we like to show up sometimes is the, the regression band indicator. And, and we have shown before that historically speaking, we from each peak, eat all these peaks never quite make it to prior peaks in terms of where they were in the regression band, uh, that might be one of those limits that we can never really hit uh, because they continue to get further away from us. For instance, if we were to go back up to the peak of this regression band, it would correspond to almost $170,000 today, but it's only going to get further and further away as time goes on. By the end of 2021, it could be $250,000. We're not saying we can't get there, but if we did make it there, it would be the first time in history where a peak is able to extend to the same regression band as a prior peak did. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, check out the Telegram channel in the description below and the premium list sale. You can find the link to that in the description below as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.